spiritual teacher Cornelia Stephanie and we were talking about how you know a lot of your thoughts are majority negative and you keep repeating those thoughts pretty much every single day I think the next step is just how would you change that how would you get rid of that negativity I think the first thing to do is to realize that this is happening and that it's a habit mm -hmm. because it's really just a habit that's all it is is that when we realize and we're aware oh my gosh, this is a habitual program that I'm uh, you know, thinking about all the time. Yeah. It's a habit, so that would be the first step. And then the second step would be to realize and say, I absolutely, absolutely refuse to judge myself or criticize myself from this day forward. That's what I want our audience today to take away from here is that absolutely refuse, put your foot down and you're not going to judge yourself anymore from this day forward and you're not going to criticize yourself in a negative way. And the moment when you catch yourself falling out of that commitment that you're making to yourself as of today, Mm -hmm. then you um, forgive yourself in that moment and say that wasn't very nice and then move on and try again. That is really, it's a practice, it's a 21 day practice. One of the other things that I have my clients do is I have them just take a bracelet and they can start with just putting any bracelet on their, on their right hand when they say something negative to themselves, you know, move it to your left hand. Okay. So basically, it's just kind of like a, a, a switch so that you realize, oh, I just, I just judged myself. I just criticized myself. I don't want to do that. That's not very nice. That's not how I want to speak to myself because I don't want to talk to myself in a non-kind way, in an mm -hmm. unkind way, right? I love that idea. It's just a reminder that when you're doing it, just to kick it out of there. Exactly. And be kind at the same time, you Absolutely. know, like, yeah, just like, no, I don't want to do that anymore. <laughs> so that would be, that would be one way to right away change it. Absolutely. And you said you have a sort of program with you, a little 21 day program to help bring the positivity to your life? Yes, and I, I'm challenging everyone here for the 21 day challenge. 21 days, no negative self-talk. Okay. Are you in? I'm in. Are you in? Absolutely. 21 days, <laughs> no negative self-talk. And what we're okay. gonna do is go to CorneliaStephanie.com, my website, and then people can sign up there for the, uh, there's an emotional processing to help them release uh, negative emotions also. That's free, that's the free gift. Perfect. Uh, emotional processing, and then there's a link for the 21 day challenge so that you can um, have support and a tool to help you with your positive programming. And the other thing I would like people to do is take their phone and on the phone, get the voice recorder. Okay. And on the voice recorder, write, uh, record something something from your own voice that says, I'm so gorgeous, I'm so amazing, <laughs> I'm so great, I, I'm so proud of you, I'm so beautiful, I'm so loving, I'm so kind. And if you program that into your phone with your own voice and listen to that three times a day, that's the truth. I love that. That's it's the truth. A great way to look at it and really practice it every day, like you said. It has to be. Uh, on top of that, you also have a book that we want to talk about. Can sure. you tell us all about your book? Sure. It's Peace, the Flip Side to Anger is the book. It's Peace is an Inside Job. And it's available on Amazon. And it's got tools and practices and techniques in the book that help you with emotional processing, learning how to process your emotions, learning how to listen to your feelings, and how to release the own anger Everybody in the world these days has anger, and we can't be the peace that we want to see in the world if we don't get to the root of what our own anger is. And I always find that underneath the anger, there's always a truth that's waiting to be communicated because when it's just right on the top, if you're angry, it's generally because you're angry because you don't know how to communicate your feelings or you don't know how to get your needs met. And there is a powerlessness underneath that anger, a feeling of powerlessness that needs to be released and move through and then let's communicate from this new place and it's really as simple as that and the book is available on Amazon for anyone that that is ready to conquer mm -hmm. the truth of who they are well perfect thank you so much for joining us thank I you I really hope everyone can work to get that negativity out of their life and out of eternally internally also absolutely thank you so much for joining us thank you Madeline